hi all this is sampath in the today video tutorial i am going to show how to delete purchase info record and after deleting the purchase info record how it's impact to purchase order that also we are going to discuss okay without any further ado let's get started Before deletion of purchase info record, I am going to show change history of purchase info record. Purchase info record change history we can see in the transaction code ME14. Now press enter key. Enter your purchase info record number, purchase organization and purchase info record category. Now click on execute button or press F8 key from your keyboard. Here we can see the brief history of purchase info record changes. In which user id we did changes, on what date and what time which transaction code we used to change the purchase info record and what is the change type just keep cursor on this press f1 key here we can see the what is u u stands for update okay now close it in which table and which field we did the changes that also we can see here Now I am going to show how to delete purchase info record. To delete purchase info record, we can use the transaction code ME15 and ME16. What is the difference between the ME15 and ME16? In ME15, we can delete individual purchase info record. In ME16, we can delete purchase info record in mass. Enter the transaction code ME15. Now press enter key. In the input field, enter your vendor master material master and purchase organization select your info category now press enter key here we can delete the purchase info record in two levels one is client and purchase organization level another one is purchase organization level okay now just come back i will show deletion of purchase info record in the transaction code me16 so impact is both are same go to transaction code me16 press enter key Enter your vendor master, material, purchase organization and info category. Enter the, here enter the date of last purchase order or scheduling agreement in purchase info record. I am going to enter today date. Now click on execute option. Here select this checkbox. Now click on deletion flag. Yes. My purchase info record set to deletion flag here. Here we can see. Now come back. We can check in the transaction code ME15. Press enter key. Press enter key. Here we flagged for deletion in purchase organization level. Now come back. Now I am going to test the purchase order. Go to transaction code ME21N. Enter vendor master, press enter key, enter all the required details. Yes, here we can see the warning message. This is showing the warning message. This purchase info record is flagged for deletion. Here just drag to right side. Here we can see the purchase info record number. Here we can convert this warning message as error message. Just go to the transaction SPRO, press enter key. Now click on SAP reference IMG. Go to material management. Click on purchasing. Click on environment data. Execute, execute, define attributes of system messages, double click on system messages, just click on position, enter version double zero, area is zero six, message number is seven one eight, press enter key. In SAP standard, it set has warning message. Now I am converting it to error message. Select E. Now save it. Save it in separate TR. Click on 
create option give meaningful description here in real time we should give meaningful description here now click on save option click on write mark now just come back close it now i'm going to create purchase order enter the transaction code me21n enter all the details press enter key yes now system showing the error message that's it today video tutorial please subscribe my youtube channel thank you